Word. Gonna do a little something different today. Not as arcade related as usual. Uh, gonna do a little box breaking. Transport ourselves back in time to 1987. The heyday of my card collecting. Because it has the Maguire rookie in it and the Kaseko rookie. Uh, pick this box up at a uh, antique mall. Try to get it cheaper than, those, than he had it listed for, but he was a stickler. I went ahead and got it though. 36 wax packs in this. We're also going to choose some 32 year old gum. I will at some point in this video chew a pack or chew a piece of the gum right out of the pack, so stay tuned. I still think we ought to each. See how much we can shoot. <laughs> well, if you want to join in, you can. I was just volunteering. <laughs> All right, let's get set up. All right, the goal is to earn a trip to spring training 1988. <laughs> <laughs> they better honor that contract still. Yeah, well, it was a, a drawing, so I'm pretty sure somebody already won and left. Ah, okay. Spring Fever Baseball. All right. Sealed. Hopefully the hot glue it back. Never know. I don't think so. First pack. Oh, should I uh, try to open these as pristinely as possible? I, I don't know. I'm. It's been a long time since I've opened any baseball cards, and people Ooh. might see this and yell at us. So. Candy Maldonado. I recognize that name. First piece of gum. Looks like that gum is shrunk. It used to be. No, I think it's about right. Is that the right size? That's, that's about what I remember. Three quarter the size of a normal piece. If you guys see a card that we don't, oh, it got the card. There's a card it ruined. If you guys see a card that we don't notice that, I mean, there's not a whole lot of real value in this set. But let us know in the comments. Nah, Tony. I don't remember him at all. Much of no name is that. Here's a Cardinal, Pat Perry. I don't remember him. Commons, Joe Zambito. Candy Maldonado might be the most important one in this deck. Let me get a little closer here. Tim Hewlett. Of course, you used to look on the back for the rookies. Um, of course, if they're not working, there's not. By, ooh, there's a Wally back. I remember that, that cat. What year is that? Uh, he's just, what year is that? It's, it's 87, buddy. No, I'm, looking, <laughs> I'm looking for his rookie year, so sometimes you'll see like the uh, minor, league. minor league team, and then that's how you determine if it's a rookie, if there's all minor league teams in just one year. Is the I think this year they had a little gold trophy that said rookie card. Some of them, yeah. Or oh, the future stars of the Bo Jackson. Uh, that's different. That's a, a colorful banner. Right. It's not rated rookie like they have the little champ cup on the side. Candy Maldonado, all right. There's a spring training. Oh, I used to. I used to have so many of those. I used those to separate my uh, teams. Probably use that on like divider as a like a cleaner pinball switches. Fernando, of course the All Star cards are more sh shit. Ooh, see how I bent that? That's a no no. Manny Trio. Oh, this used to be worth something back in the day. I don't know if it is anymore. I don't it's his rookie. So. I've See, never heard of him. Waterloo and Indians, so that's how you determine. And it's his rookie card. It was worth a couple bucks back in 87. I don't know. This day and age. Mike Brown. Oh! We got a Griffey. Nice. That, no, that's his dad, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's not Junior. <laughs> I was going to say, wait a minute. That's too early. Yeah, I think his rookie's in 89. They do look alike. He would have won in the home, uh, 121 home runs. Me and a, a card person back in the day, or a dealer, we'd play baseball, home run baseball with packs. Basically, I'd buy a pack and he'd buy a pack. And uh, whoever was in it with the most home runs in the pack won the other guy's pack. So back then, you were always looking for Mike Schmidt because he had a buttload of home runs and was... You know, an active player. Ooh, got a Clemens. Roger. 
Let's keep this gum separate. Let's see here. Jim Acker. There it is. Cup of Commons. Steve Trout. Ooh, there's a good in All Star. I remember that, getting that card when I was here and thinking I had something. That's a lovely face he's making. <laughs> oh, Dwight, he had a hell of a fastball. Mm -hmm. Ron Hassey. This guy used to be good as a reliever. Mike Krucko. Play a lot of RBI baseball still. And so the 87, 86, 87 players are on there. This guy totally sucks on the mats, man. He can't hit nothing. Got a great average, but sucks in the game. I, I suggest substituting out if you're playing RBI. <laughs> This, this is gonna be a four-hour video. <laughs> Supposed to do it quickly. I don't know. I've never done this before. Well, you got. Yeah, we got. Like yeah, I got thirty-six all packs. We're already at five minutes. Greg Jack Howe. Well, I can speed it up. I didn't know the the pace of this. This is my first box breaking. Dead Gumper. I'm just helping you out. James Silver. Clemens. Yep. You set aside your good ones. I haven't. Well, it ain't been. Yeah, I should do that. Yeah, we'll do that in the next packs and saving some time here. I'm looking for some rated rookies. Ooh, this one looks like it might have been resealed. That's that one we were kind of curious about. Re hot glued. He might he might have re hot glued it, but I don't think anybody went through the pack. I mean, come on. There's nothing in there that's super valuable. I bet all it takes is an iron. Took all the rookies out. I would count these. There, I might need 17 in here. Rice. Ooh, the Eckersley. He played for the Cardinals late in his career. Played for the A's, too. Chris. Andretti. Buddy Bell. I think he ended up being a manager at some point, right? I don't know. Crecky. He's good. RBI. He's on the All Star team. And. It's I mean, <laughs> your thumb looks so weird. I don't know if it's his rookie or not because nah. He had one season with the Padres in eighty six and he went back to Vegas. Well this might Is know. that not the weirdest thumb? Look at that thing. <laughs> Do I have a large thumb? Yeah. <laughs> looks like a big toe. I used to hate those hats, those pillbox hats. Alright. No name, Keith Hernandez. Made famous by Seinfeld, you know. <laughs> no, he didn't be made famous by Seinfeld. <laughs> Todd Pinkin. Gary Carter. He ain't bad on Alternative facts provided by Mike the Talent Dixon. Well, I don't know. According to the Mandela effect, it could have been true. looks appetizing. You always hate it when it ruins a good card. It hasn't happened yet. Are you hiding the gum? I don't think it's stuck in that one. He's got a little bend to him like they got wet. Alright, pick a good spot in the lights. Alright, Stephen Lake. I remember him as a cardinal. This is a backup catcher. Harold Warner, this might be one of his... He was a good player. I put my all-stars. I haven't seen any rookie cards yet. Let's clean them out. Mitch Williams. This gum doesn't look any different than it did in 87. What about the texture? Does it break as It's kind of the same. There's always... That was a good one to get, Pete Rose. If you were playing hits, you could use home runs or hits. Kind of try to tilt the cards a little bit more forward so they catch that light. Right here. Yeah, it's a little better. Bunch of commons in this one. This one's definitely a resealed pack. <laughs> Billy Hatcher. Nobody. Alright. 
fun though. I'd, this would be like heaven when you were. Uh, how old was I in '87? <laughs> I was mm, nine. Seven. Yeah, nine. I was twelve. All right, come on, let's get some good ones this time. Common, common, Catch that light for me. There you go. Oh, Tony! Wow. Oh, he's so Gibby. young. Remember Gibby? Far from a rookie. Barry Larkin. That could be his rookie. Oh, it is his rookie. I'm gonna say it's and close. And it got gummed. Uh, and still it, worth saving. And it's his rookie card. It might be worth Sucks. 50 cents. <laughs> This 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 fool here screwed up the Cardinals in '85 with his BS home run. And, well, they did get beat 11 to two in Game Seven. Anyway, remember that was the second inning. I could be totally wrong. That's a childhood flashback. I apologize. Rob Murphy, Tom Seaver, famous guy. You got your thumb over their name. Dustin. My thumbs are so big. I mean, no, they, they just look like big. Toes. These cards have gotten smaller since I've gotten older for some reason. <laughs> this is his rip. No, he played, he came, yeah, close. He went back and forth. You know, my father. Yeah, shit. I know there's a couple of other good cards in there in the first couple packs, but I'd like to see a rated rookie or two. Barry Bonds. Barry'd be nice. I'd like to see a Bo Jackson just because look how long it's been since we've seen a Bo Jackson card. Bo knows. I could feel Bo's in here somewhere. Hang on a second. Ooh, Joiner. There we go. Wally Joiner rookie card. She probably ain't worth much, but I was always a fan of Wally. He's good on a RBI in 1987. Speaking of RBI, I picked up a 2017 RBI for my Play Choice 10. We, we're going to show everybody at some point. It's basically RBI with updated stats and teams. It's got all the teams on there. See how I got your piles going here? Oh, thank you. Yeah, organize for me, please. You might go back through and see if you find something I missed. I'm trying to keep all this stuff in frame, too. Oh, yeah, I know Scorsese. Langston. Oh, another rookie. See, you bitch and you get. Of course, he didn't turn out to be anybody. No one remembers that guy. Andy Allenson. He ended up in AA. Just so you know, I have him zoomed in on the, on the cards. And when you start talking and you start moving them around, you lose, yeah, you lose us all. I'm happy. I'm glad I do that. Charlie Huff. Ooh, another Rhodes. That's as a player, right? Yeah, that's true. Because he was a manager and a player. That year. That's his rookie card, too. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's like... A, 19, no, I was going to say 70, but I think it's older than that. He had, I wonder how many hits he had by this time. 4,256 hits. What year does it say his rookie year was? 70? Oh. 69? 63. 63? Oh, yeah. I wasn't born yet. Shows what I know. Yeah, me either. Tommy Lasorda. Oh, Tommy. I remember that guy's a pitcher. He used to screw the Cardinals over. <laughs> two, two Lasordas and, and one, one pack. That's got a, a rarity. And as always, you get a lot of commons. That's why they're called common. <laughs> Let's, I want to pull out at least a McGuire rookie since we are in Missouri. Missouri. <laughs> you can't put this stuff in piles at all, can you? No, that's I gotta let like, you do something around here. Yeah. Oh, Todd Warrell. For us, that's a cool card. Yeah. I'm putting that up the side. I'm a Mike. No, I don't. White Sox leaders.
Tom Wada. Vinny. Nice. Vinny Coleman. <laughs> Stick all the Cardinals in the good pile. Fast is good. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't matter if they were actually good or not. <laughs> well, Vince Coleman was good. Oh, yeah. One of the fastest guys in the world on the base path. It's back when, you know, he was getting 100 stolen bases a year. And people are lucky to get 50 nowadays a year. Yeah. All right, let's get some more rookies out there. That guy can speed this up. <laughs> it takes. We're at 15 minutes already. The the little side facts are funny, but it's like holy cow, we got a lot of packs to get through. Yeah, you know, as long as you watch a little bit, and enjoy it. I guess we could do we'll two parts if we time. have to. Oh. I can handle my cards. Oh, I see another. Got another Andy Allison rookie. Yes. Gary Ward. Mr. Parker. I'll give you this one, Matt, since I already have one. Duplicates. <laughs> hey, you forgot to organize. Joaquin. And ha! You're not even close to getting this in the piles. Is this how you kept your baseball card collection as a kid? Oh no, it's in mint shape. You're probably one of those that put them, put the cards in the spokes of your bike. Oh uh, no, never did that. Of course, I had a motorcycle at this age, so. At twelve. Yeah, I was riding motorcycles by the time I was uh, seven, I think. Biff Roberts, never heard. Bruce Bochy. <laughs> You know, that game is annoying. Yeah, go click it off. Oop, another cardinal. Click it off by reaching through there. Stop the thing and we'll start over. Here, I'll pause it. Pause. Any of that? Oh, dude. <laughs> it stopped recording on us. We just pulled out the Bo Jackson. How much did you get? I, I just started just now. We didn't get any of that. So, did you get the Bo Jackson at all? Didn't get us pulling the Bo Jackson. Ever since we came back, it just now started. Whenever we stopped for the video game. Got one job. You don't have to worry about putting it back in the wax pack. Just show what we got. That sucks. If you can't redo that banner. Just show what we got. Quit Was crying. It yeah, it's been on the whole time. Ozzy Smith. More Cardinals. Todd Worrell. That little camera malfunction there, ladies and gentlemen. We keep those two. He ain't nobody. Jimmy Beetle. Ryan Oyster. Uh, couple comments. Mr. Ogilvy. Never heard of him. Gagney. He, was, he played in the World Series that year. I say I recognize the name. He's on a... Oh, there's a Bo. Hey, <laughs> Bo Jackson. What a surprise. Sweet. Yeah. Anyway, as Mike was saying, he's a, a fellow Missouri team at being yeah, in the Royals. It's his rookie card, too, so... That's a good one to get. Gene Walton. All right. And Dick Williams. Poor guy. Related to Billy D. Williams. <laughs> Obviously. Got a Bo. Bo knows. Man, he was great in football, too. He, he actually... I guess he wasn't an RBI because uh, they didn't have the Royals. They really had the teams that went to the series and the playoff teams. He was in some games, Ooh, though, wasn't another, Yeah. Well, he's in Tecmo Bowl where he just can run the show. Oh, that's right. right. Yeah. And then football, the two-player sport guy. Corey Snyder, his rookie card. No one's ever heard of him. Well, you might have heard of him. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't say that. Ooh, the coveted checklist. Gosh, I hate those. I think that goes in the comments. You might have uh, a good portion of the set after this, though. <laughs> I probably already do. Um, yeah, I'm sure I probably have the whole set just in opening packs. Dave Parker. Dave Parker. He's a big boy. Kind of pulling the all-stars out just for 
Plesak was a good pitcher for the Brewers back in the day. I remember playing Stratomatic Baseball. And he's a pitcher I used. <laughs> you keep him in the good pile? Yeah, that's true. Common! <laughs> Mr. Kearney. I don't really think the Mariners had leaders back in 87. Holy shit, Chris Brown? <laughs> oh, I didn't know he played baseball. This is where he learned to hit. <laughs> Jim Morrison. Jim Morrison? Wow. <laughs> After his scene career. He finally he was, broke on through to the other side. Uh, he dabbled with a little playing for the Pirates back in 87. Was like a, oh, Mookie Wilson. Ah, uh, Mook. The Mookster. Yeah, there's a common pack. Oh, that had some good entertainment in there. <laughs> there, let's beat the Bo Jackson. Remember to kind of tilt the cards this way a little bit. All right, yeah. Thank you for your direction, Tarantino. I only know two oh, directors. I hate this commercial. Geico. One Cardinal I'm not going to pull to the side. Jeff <laughs> Lanty. I don't remember him at all. I think I got two of him now. <laughs> See a good one in here. Turn him forward, lift him, lean forward, like that. Like yeah, that? Yeah, like that. Just give a chance for the light to catch it. Wiz Khalifa? And he's related? Phil Garner. Oh, it's Freddy Krueger's brother. <laughs> Bill. The good looking one. Bill Krueger. <laughs> he didn't... Happened to fortune, you know, have an unfortunate smelting accident like uh, his brother. His glove didn't have knives in it. <laughs> hey, that's good. Mulholland. Mr. Brown. Mike Brown. He was also a porn star back in the 80s. Mike, Mike Brown. You can tell by the mustache. Yeah, that's like a sore spot for St. Louis. Oh, wait a minute. Well, that's not the same guy. Oh, another Griffey. All right. Yeah. He multiplied. He's everywhere. Another Keith Hernandez. Oh, all star. Made, we'll made famous out. by Seinfeld. Yeah, like, without <laughs> Seinfeld, he would, no one would know him. Moose Haas. I remember having that guy's card, but I don't remember him. He looks like a playing. hoss. So, are you saving these wax packs? Can we sell those on eBay? <laughs> well, when I reseal this pack, <laughs> yeah, true. I'm going to put all my commons back we're, in here. Then. We're going to take the commons, we're going to reseal these packs, and then we'll sell them back to you guys if you're interested. Yeah, yeah. Quarter a pack. I'm going to sell them back to the same place where I bought them from. $10. <laughs> that was kind of a douche. That guy was the All right, Mr. Cowley. Friend of Arnold. I need another rookie card. I, I feel a rookie card in here. Dave Ray Getty. Haven't seen uh, Mark McGuire yet. No. I'd like to see him. Ice Cube. No, that's Junior Ortiz. He does kind of look like the Cube star. Doesn't he? You could play that's him in a movie. His, that's his cousin. Uh, Not no. Dave Ray Getty. Another Ozzy. The Wizard. I might see. I might. I gotta pull those these these cardinals out because they might be in the cardinal caravan this year. And go get their. Oh, another Wally Joyner rookie. I always liked him. Me too. That's a good shot too. That's your. So that ain't a bad pack. If you get a rookie in every pack, that'd be awesome. Unless it's Andy Allenson. Sorry, Andy, if you're watching. <laughs> uh, 1987. All of a sudden, you get some hate in the comments. <laughs> Yo, you want to play ball? Listen here, redneck from Missouri. Uh, Clemens record breaker. Uh, I kind of like that one. How bad was it? It kind of dis dis disintegrates. disintegrates. That's what I. That's what and I think. And tasteless. I don't know. I'll, I'll eat. I'll eat every piece at I'll, the end. I only ate a quarter of it. <laughs> Ugh. 
I don't know. Is it bad? Well, I can't wait to find out. <laughs> you might feel like you've ate some uh, paste. Earl some Weaver. Glue. Oh, slow down. The gum kind of. I don't know why. I think I saw a rookie in here. I'm not yeah. paying attention to the game. Chargers are losing. Uh, I'm not oh, surprised. I think, I think they just scored a touchdown. Yeah. I might need something to drink. Get that gum. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this is a dud pack. Dud. Total dud. What was the last guy's name? Eastler? Mike Eastler. Oh. Yeah. That was a worthless pack there. And it was the gum pack. <laughs> Dude, I don't know if you would eat a whole piece of that stuff. <laughs> I'll eat, at least eat one whole piece. <laughs> we were talking about, you know, seeing how many pieces can, each other could eat, but after that quarter, I think I'm going to go ahead and bow out. Yeah, bow out of that contest. <laughs> That's the flavor that it might last 32 years in your mouth. <laughs> I'll just wash it out with vodka. It's not as bad as chitlins, but... All right. Some Nobody. people like chitlins. Uh, I personally know that's like Glenn Braggs. I remember him back in the day. He was a decent player. Kurt Stillwell. We talked about him earlier. Wait a minute. Isn't that the guy from Hunger Games? I thought he Josh. Had a, it's Josh Hutcherson. How many thing? rookie? I thought he had a rookie card too. I want to put him aside. This one's confusing me. No, we just made fun of him earlier, I think. Yeah, but he should have a rookie card here, so he shouldn't have a normal card. There must be two Alan Andersons, or I'm getting the names confused already. Um, Dickie Thon. Dickie Thon, I remember that. We got a lot of laughs off of that, out of that yeah, card. He was in the All-Stars <laughs> team. Oh. As, a, as a nine-year-old, a Dickie Thon card created a lot of amusement. Ha-ha, funny. Funny ha-ha. Raphael Santana, R.J. Reynolds. He was an early rapper. Jimmy Key was an all-star pitcher for RBI in 87. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, that, his beard's back in style. <laughs> so, before his time. Jeff Deadmon. <laughs> this guy was half Jamaican. I was thinking maybe he was a Walking Dead player. It's Eddie Murphy. <laughs> Ricky ain't right. That boy ain't right. All right. Now we're about halfway done. <laughs> this might be a two-part video. Uh, I don't know how much... Uh, I can open them quicker. Probably at a faster pace. I should have watched on how they did this before. This is my This is my rookie attempt. I've watched many videos, but I don't think I've watched a full box break of wax packs. Oh, Rich Gedman. The reason why this is significant to me is because, like I said, I play a lot of RBI. And I take this guy out of the lineup, but he's actually a pretty good hitter. I leave him in nowadays. Ken Phelps. Bob Pritter. Always hated these cards. Like, these are worthless. Tony Walker. I use those as, uh,. Well, Card okay. dividers, too. Wegman. Kirby! Kirby Puckett. Puckett. He screwed us over that year in the World Series. I might pull him aside just to shoot him. <laughs> Don Carmen. Timmy Wallach, he was good. Jeff Sellers. Eh, there's a no-namer. Next pack. Now I think I'm halfway. What else are we looking for? Barry Bonds. Barry Bonds. Mark McGuire. Raphael Palmiero. Conseco would be nice. Oh, yeah, Conseco. Conseco's rookie. He's Should got a couple good. couple cards in this set. <laughs> yeah, there's a fair amount that we could get. There's another Wardell. We got plenty of him. Yeah, we've seen guy. Woodward already. Willie Hernandez. Bernie White. Yes, the spring fever. Tonight we gotta send all those off. Vita Blue. I always thought that was an interesting name. Could be Vita. Could be. Oh yeah. Cardinal. He's a bench player on RBI baseball. 
this is basically going to be talking about RBI baseball stuff because I'm trying to incorporate our case too. <laughs> Ron Darling, Saber Hagen, the side armor. Pull him aside. Not his rookie. He's a rookie in 85. Maddox, didn't you say? Oh, this is his rookie. This one is worth something here. I think Greg. Oh, uh, was it Greg? Uh, probably so. Whatever. He'll join that list over there. Now see inside the box, it said something on there somewhere to keep the box because there were cards on the inside, like on the packaging. Oh yeah. See, I think there's something written right there. Yeah, cards on the back. I remember that. They're, little, they're not the actual size of the cards. I just wanted to see what cards they were. Look at all this gum we got going on here. We'll turn back the clock card. That's the first time cool. I've seen one of those. It's not right. worth anything. I'm just going to put it aside. Cause... Where'd it go? I remember those, though. John Morris, the Cardinal. He's another bench player. Hey, two of them in one. Willie Mays Hayes. That's Morty Wills, actually. He was fast. I used him in Stratomag Baseball, too. Carl Bess. Never heard of him. Kirk McCaskill. I remember him. Tim Tuffle. All right. The Pirates hats that year were just kind of weird. Yeah, that, that, they probably flash back to that once in a while on a throwback night. Wear that hat. Didn't uh, didn't we get Ozzy Smith from the Pirates? No, the Padres. No, the guy from the Padres. They had weird uniforms that year, in my opinion. Oh, where's McGuire? It's not his rated rookie though. Well, his rookie's technically a, an eighty-five. Oh yeah, it's his rookie card though. For this set. Or 80, 86 traded set, right? Yeah, it's 85. Yeah, it's Olympic. It's right. Olympic card, but this is his tops rookie of that year. Sweet. Yes. Ah, Bo. Don't go. I see another rookie card coming up. Robbie Thompson. I remember him. He doesn't look like a rookie, though, does he? He looks like he's from the 50s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can, or he kind of looks like Bill S. Preston Esquire. <laughs> Lee Smith. He Lee Smith. Turned up. He, lo he looks like a 50s player, too. <laughs> this guy looks like he had bad teeth. Harry Spillman. He sounds like a 50s player. <laughs> looks like Jaws off of the James Bond. Like uh, somebody's father-in-law. You don't want Barry Jones. Look at that oh, hat. That's just that's ridiculous close. looking. We want Barry Bonds, not Barry Jones. <laughs> Larry Anderson. Ah, I'm happy we got McGuire. That's sweet. Let's pull out a Conseco rookie. Conseco? Yeah, I know he's got a rated rookie in here. Here's a good card to uh, get if you're doing the home run championship. Mike Schmidt had 1,954 home runs. Huh? Go up 14 nothing. go Patriots. No, 14-7. 13-7 okay. at the moment. Danny Cox. Poor guy. Oh, yes. The stash would come back in style. That's a pretty good pack. Gun. happy I got that McGuire rookie because I got one of those and it's not as good a shape. Alright. This is Terry Mulholland from Mulholland Falls, the movie. Got a few of those already. Julio Cruz. Got a few of those, don't we? Ooh, the Cardinals leaders. That's the only one I'd like to do. <laughs> Bob Brindley. Come on, let's get something out of this pack. That's a dutter. Hans Gruber. Tewksbury, he, he was a Cardinal at some point. This is his rookie. Nope. 
on to the next pile. This is fun. I wanted to buy another box. Yeah, they got a lot of different ones we can pick, too. It's not too expensive. Kind of fun. Frank Pino, you also get the uh, your plumbing going if you need it. Pirates. That's racist. What are you talking about? It's not Mario. Sean Robbie. Nobody. This guy was an all-star and I never heard of him, so he doesn't get put over there. <laughs> Bruce Seaver. Maroon card, the gum card. Man, that always sucked in the gum card, really. Like screwed up the card you were looking for back in the day. I don't think it was as bad. Yeah, you're talking 32 years of wherever these cards were stored. Could have had some humidity. And hot, cold, hot, yeah. cold. You had them in your cold car, too. Do we need to stop? Nah. Let it rain. So I'll get a cup of coffee if you want to take a break. I don't want to talk to anybody. Hopefully it's not my woman calling. Like, I was doing something. I was looking at baseball cards. That would go over real well. Yeah, she'd be like, oh, that's fine. I understand. <laughs> baseball cards are pretty cool. Chat. At least you weren't playing with your arcade games. Yeah, pretty bad. That'd be a good porno name. Cliff Johnson. <laughs> Jack Morris. I remember Lance. You'll make it over there, buddy. <laughs> that, that guy was smooth with the ladies. Mowder. <laughs> 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 uh, his, his head looked like your thumb. Guy. He's on the all star team in RBI. Like someone beat this guy up for the picture. Oh, his face is off. Oh, sorry, dude. If you're alive still. Ooh, I did that all backwards shuffle. Lonnie Smith. Lonnie Smith, isn't he from our area? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's a. Oh, you mean he's St. Louis area? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, one of my best friends, uh, Grandpa, coached him oh. in local ball. He was pretty fast. Let me see that card. Let's see if I can tell from it. You can probably look at this minor league. He's with the Cardinals for a while. It's, oh, come on, let's get something good. No, I don't think. So Jose, he, okay, since no. he graduated in, from high school in Compton, California, so before he was a manager. Now maybe uh, maybe it was his his son or something that I know. Now he's managing the uh, minor league team this year. You can do. Yep. Old Sandberg. Come on, Winfield. Blood black. That could be his ring. Nope. Bud Black. How many packs we got left? Oh, about ten, it looks like. We're about done. Two thirds of the way. You eat all this gum. No, not all of it. Give you ten dollar. Chew all that gum. Ooh. Ozzy's all star. Chili! He's a good player. Billy Joe Robodeau? <laughs> <laughs> he is Creole. Billy Joe Robodeau, the Creole. I think you got that checklist. He's a little tipsy. <laughs> tipsy Tippy Martinez. I apologize about your parents calling you Tippy. <laughs> when, they, when you were conceived, they were a little bit tipsy. Right. 
Mr. Lowry. Come on, give me some good. Bill Gluckson. No, he didn't. No, not a dutter. Kevin Bass. Dud. I think my common pack over here is getting large. I'm going to get Ruben in those sides and look for a second. It definitely took us longer to film this than I thought it was going to. I thought it was going to be like a 15 minute video or something. Uh, if you would like. There's a lot more packs in that box than I was thinking there was. This is like. Sometimes the packs look exactly the same with the cards that come out of it. There's yeah, I've had that Cone, happen. John Moses. Jack oh, Clark. That's the first one of Jackie. Great picture. He was our only power hitter for a decade. <laughs> Back when you had one power hitter. And you can get away with it. You might need to do some uh, maintenance for me, sir. I was trying to. Please. It's hard to zoom in and out and pick up your pigsty. Bobby Bonilla or Bobby no. Bonds? Damn it! Tricked! Yeah, it's Bonds. This isn't his rookie card. This is his, Well, no, this might be his rookie card. He's got 86 listed twice. He paid for the White Sox and Pirates that year. Yeah, I'll have to look that one up. Oh, sorry. I got excited for a second. That's your good ones over there. Bruce Ruffin. I remember thinking he might be somebody. That's a rookie card, but he didn't turn out to be much. At least as far as I remember. Oh, Murph Dog. He's a good hitter on the All-Star team in 87 RBI Baseball. That wasn't a bad pack. That Bonilla's worth something. Try to be more efficient with my opening. Gum over here. Cut in the middle. The, the spring fever over here. <laughs> Mr. Schmidt, never heard of you. The manager card. Nolan Ryan. Ooh, oh, Nolan. That was one of the cards that was in the top ten that we looked at. I'm surprised because he must have thrown a... wonder why. Must have thrown no hitter or something in here because it's not his rookie by any means. No, no, no way. I don't know. I was surprised to see that too. That's why I was like, we can take these websites with a grain of salt because right. their values, the, the article might have been 10 years old. His rookie was 67. <laughs> I don't think there's anything highly valuable in this set. No, nah, no. Nah. Those checklists, though. Oh. It's probably the same checklist over and over, too. Another rose. I think they should let him in the Hall of Fame. He'll get in. I mean, he didn't bet against his team. He bet on baseball, but he bet on his team to win. What's wrong with that? <laughs> I see the conflict of interest. Not if you bet on him to win, you're going to coach him to win. I see a conflict of interest if you bet on him to lose. Well, I mean, they have rules in place for a reason. Well, okay, how many packs we got going? Uh, down to eight, nine. nine. This is pack ten. Pack ten. Pack 10. The final countdown. 
Still, we got the Maguire rookie. Let's see the Conseco rookie. That'd be sweet. You say Conseco, I say Conseco. Conseco. Actually, we want the Barry Bonds, don't we? Barry. Where's Barry at? Worthless rookie card. This Spillman, man. Yeah. He's one of our favorites. Jaws. I'm going to have to put him in a good pile. Mr. White. I remember him. The Rotate. <laughs> we'll pull that guy back for a second. Ed Hearn. Remember him? Are those eyebrows? What's going on there? Is unibrow. It, oh, it's his glasses? That's his glasses. Come like, whoa. Those look, at, the unibrow. look at them eyebrows. Holy crap. Oh, Dykstra. He was a quick little punk. Ponscum Mets. Not his rookie year. I don't even remember him. No. Well, you don't make it to the pile if I don't remember you. Daryl. Daryl. I remember getting this card thinking it was something back in the day. All right, pack number nine. Ah, heck yeah. Gum pack. Flip. Crack. Oh, I see a rookie card. Kent Herbeck. Danny Tartable. That's not a terrible one. That should be worth something. He was a good guy. I knew him personally. Tough <laughs> <laughs> Kelly. Garth Org. How do you say his last name? Orgy. <laughs> he if he had a chance at one, it'd been back then in eighty seven. <laughs> <laughs> you say this Stan Javier, not Javier. By the way, ask that guy, Dave Johnson. I bet you he says Javier. Look at, look at this Whitey, Whitey Herzog. He's a good manager. I liked Whitey. I, I guess we should title this. 1987 tops box break by Cardinals fans. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Balboni. I always thought his name was kind of funny. Carlos. Oh, you, are you saying that I'm biased? I'm not Say, biased. Saying we're both kind of biased. We're like, oh, sweet. Cardinals team leaders. This goes in the good pile. <laughs> it's like a three cent card. Yeah. It's got a Cardinals logo on it. It's worth saving. Yeah. All right. I like to get that Tartable rookie. That's it. This one, look at it's got fuck ups all over it. Jim Rice. I remember that guy. Not Eckersley. Billy Bean. Billy Bean. Is this the guy? No. This ain't the guy? No. no that the same the guy? Sabermetrics? Talking about the Billy Ripken? No, uh, I'm talking about the guy that uh, the movie is based off of. That uh, the manager. Oh. That I might be. That, uh, yeah. Can't remember the story. I, who was in that movie? Uh, Moneyball is what you're talking Moneyball, about. Moneyball, yeah. Oh, Tudor. Man, he's a killer pitcher in RBI. You can't hit the mofo. Kind of like Clemens and Gooden. Oh, New England went up by 14. That's what I figured. So Chiefs are going to play the Patriots. That's all right. We ain't scared of no Patriots. All right. Dud to end of Number that pack. Seven. Yeah, really. I mean, it's only got a sentimental value because of Tudor. Still got a couple cards we haven't found we're looking for. Yeah, we want the Barry Bonds. Barry Bonds, where are you, Barry? And the Conskiko. Oh yeah, Conskiko. Uh oh, one of those duplicate packs. Mr. Reigns, he was a quick bastard. Mm. 
<laughs> I swear there's like four of those in every pack. Pat Corrales, he looks like he was in the mob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dan oh. Quisenberry. Oh, Quister. Mr. Sign Underhanded. Up. Oh, there's, there's a Canseco. Canseco. Beautiful. That's awesome. Throw Dan Quisenberry in a good uh, pile. Yeah, it gets hope the Conseco rookie's not the gum card. Okay. That is awesome. Got us a Conseco. This back in the day would have been the shit to get. Now, not so much. It's got a little... Something was on it up there by the at-bat, but... It's not perfectly flat. Yeah, sweet. We got a Conseco rookie, Laguire rookie. <laughs> but all we need is Barry Bonds, and this would be total success. <sighs> hey, we can get doubles of them good cards. That'd be okay. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't mind that. Billy Bean. <laughs> oh. I'm opening these like I'm going to save these wax packs. <laughs> All right. Oh, I got uh, 36 wax packs. What do you give me for them? Whole packs? Well, if you, if you pay me $5, I'll take them somewhere for you. That'd be cool to make like a little, take an iron and kind of iron them all together, maybe. Some wall art. <laughs> <laughs> all right, come on. Where are you at, Barry? Gonna get all Martha Stewart with the wax packs. This guy I heard was a total a hole. Really? He would never uh, play in the All Star game because he wouldn't get paid for it. Back then, they didn't give any incentives or anything. It was just an honor to be in the All Star game. He never do it because it wasn't financially viable. Look at Otis Nixon's pissed off. He also got some mean Jerry curl. I'm mad he, he is. He does look mad. You know, I don't want to take no damn picture. <laughs> I'm only doing this for money. Oh, it's the gum card. He does, that's why he's mad. Because he's the gum card. <laughs> he's the gum card. You should have known. <laughs> I've seen you before, Stanley. <laughs> yep. And McCaskill and Valentine. Duplicates. Tuffle. This whole half pack I've seen before. Oh, there's that one guy again. <laughs> that guy looks like your thumb. <laughs> All right, number five. Jose Uribe. I can't wait till you eat all this gum, Matt. I don't know about all that gum. You promised. I'm going to eat some. <laughs> it's a different Aussie, right? It's the All Star Ozzy. I think you got two of them though. We got a nice little stack over here. Of course, there's a lot of commons. Chili, Mr. Hamilton, Billy Joe Rubadope. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Joe Rubadope. <laughs> oh, Tipsy Tippy. This is the same pack. Oh, oh Mark McGuire. Another McGuire rookie. Sweet. About you, time a double or something you decent. You called for it. We got it. Double up. Huh, huh. Yeah. See that Barry Bonds. Well, the other uh, one was Mr. Payne. He was a Raf Raphael Palmiero. Is that how you say his I name? I haven't seen him. I would've, I would've that was in him. the list too. Yeah. Old Tony Payne. Kill will put him in the Cardinal pile because he was pion. kind of Cardinal. That's my uh, what's that guy's name on a Boomer? Yeah, a Boomer talk. Bob Fuller. Them old dang dang dang. Oh no, you know no no. Mr. Brett, old, the Cardinals don't know. Old uh, pine tar himself, as you can see in this picture, how high that pine tar is. So he George Brett. For years, <laughs> for years he was doing this. He got called out at once and he flipped out. Because he's a cheater. <laughs> yeah, screw that. He was always known for his mustache. The gossage. He used to twirl it up, too. He did that before it was cool, before Rob Schweiger. Dre Beck. Ooh, Rebe. He's the leadoff hitter for the Giants that year. Oh. Earthquake. Tarantino, fix that, please. It's like the 89 World Series. Oh. 
Did they finish that year? What was that one year where they went on strike and they finished the year? I don't know. Remember that? Uh, I think I think that's when they filmed a league of their own. <laughs> no. Ha <laughs> uh ha! -huh. I don't get the gum card. Ooh, the nice. per perfectly good use of the gum card. A checklist. <laughs> Could every gum card be a checklist, please? Or the spring fever? Somebody's got a little warp to him. I wonder why. 32 years old, maybe? Cecil Mooneyham. <laughs> I like his last name. My Mo name is Bill Mooneyham. Oh, there's a cardinal. Tommy Her. Our second baseman. Bob Melvin. Get Melvin. Davis. Oh, is that his Ricky? I don't think so. Nah. Nope. Bill Schroeder. Julio. <coughs> he was a quick guy for the yeah. Angels, the leadoff hitter. Yeah. He's on uh, RBI. Fred Lynn. There's a known. There's a worthless pack. Except for Tommy. Down to three. Got three left. Three packs. Got a couple McGuire rookies. Uh, Conseco. Conseco. Let's get us a... Uh, you say Conseco while you play on your nest? We got a Raphael Belliardo. It's not Palermo. But Belliardo. Belliard. No. Give me a Bobby Bonds. Nope. A little Bobby Bonilla. Barry Bonds. Barry Bobby Bonilla. Bonilla. Never Bonilla. heard of Barry Bonds. Who is he? Didn't he cheat? Yeah, I think they were like passing around steroid suckers. Everybody cheated back then. It wasn't Walking frowned Andor. upon. Walking Yeah, this is his rookie card. He wasn't a bad player. Uh, he was a bench player and batted 300. The only reason why I know that is because of RBI baseball. <laughs> you and your RBI baseball facts. <laughs> Get through this damn box. I played a lot. <laughs> me, and a, me and a guy played. This guy's eighth every, string on RBI baseball for didn't. This no is the guy you suck to tune out on RBI baseball. If you want to break out your nest. If you really want to lose, you're going to pull this guy out. This guy has great stats but sucks in RBI baseball. He might get a hit. Maybe. This guy is <laughs> a lock jaw. It must be chaw. It must Got Chaw Jaw. Get down to our last two packs. Don't think we're gonna get our Bobby Bonds, Barry Bonds, Barry Bonds. That'll be a disappointment. I don't know. I'd rather have my Maguires and Consecos. It's awesome. Two Maguire rookies. That's last pack? No, second to last pack. We're about an hour long. No shit. Yeah. Oh my god. That's why I was like. Okay, RBFX. <laughs> Why stop now? <laughs> I don't know if I can get it all up in one video. I'm not going to get any shorter. I guess we'll put oh, no. Trickery. The Skullduggery. I don't think it's a bad card. I just don't think it's the Barry yeah. Bonds we're looking for. There you go. There's a Bruce Ruff and Ricky. Oh, my God. Come on. Let's get it now. Denny Wallen, he's a good hitter. Pasta, Shirley. Right. Shirley. Oh, Hershauser, he was a good pitcher. Hey, glad. Commons, alright, last pack. Last pack attack. I don't think we're going to get our Barry Bonds, but we got some good cards in here. Why don't you ever have a pack with just like. You ever open a pack where they're all rookie cards? No, <laughs> unless you buy a pack that's specifically all rookie cards. <laughs> Resimulate it. Reassemble. I'm sure they sell packs that are... Rob Deere. Nowadays, they got packs with He's uniforms, good bats, good bats bases. Bases. Save that gum. All right, we're going down in flames here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Last of the good cards here. Last pack. Last half. Uh oh, bunch of commons. <laughs> here 
ruining my video. Pat Dodson, rookie. Last card. Never heard of him. But he's a future star. <laughs> Evidently not. Him. His future wasn't that bright. And that is it. Well, we did get some good ones, though. Got Baylor and Carlos. Some of the ones we were we were looking for. Yeah, got a couple of McGuire rookies here. These are definitely the gems. And then the Bo knows. Bo. I don't know if that's worth much money, but it's cool for us. I remember having it and really been like, yeah, I got something great. McGuire. That's awesome. So we have, whoops, we have all this gum. <laughs> Here's the, basically the commons. There's all the empty packs. And so I'm going to get set up and I'm going to eat some gum. Stay tuned. Hey, Ray, there's the haul. What we ended up with. This is before Matt chews the gum. A couple McGuire rookies, Conseco rookie. Not too bad. And here's what Matt is going to chew. I'm not going to eat all of this, but I'm going to try to eat some. I'm on camera. Yep, let me get back here. Whoa! First time camera action for me. You can see how poor I am. All right, what's the challenge here? Okay, well, I'm gonna at least eat one piece. This is from 1987 Topps baseball card packs. So it's 32 year old gum. Try to challenge you to eat 10 pieces. I'm gonna eat, try to eat one. <laughs> see what happens. <laughs> It's so hard. Put the whole thing in there. <laughs> Face your demons. Now the what we need you to really do is blow a bubble if you can. <laughs> it just turns into powder. It's not even gum. <laughs> How does it taste? Horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's like ancient sugar. <laughs> Try another piece. <laughs> no, no, don't go for the water yet. Try I, another I piece. I have to. It's too dry. <laughs> we'll lube it up. All right. You another piece of gum. Going for another one. <laughs> You're gonna get a sugar shock. Ugh. I'm gonna get <laughs> some kind of botulism disease. Thirty-two year old gum. Oh, His second oh. piece. <laughs> I don't know if I can eat more than two. <laughs> That's the record so far, ladies and gentlemen. Now, did you leave the one in your mouth before you start chewing on the second one? or It, really, uh, it just turns into nothing. <laughs> it's over a bad taste. So you're getting no wad by any means. You're not. <laughs> it tastes like baseball card smell. <laughs> it's like old, musty cardboard <laughs> and sugar. But you're not forming a, a ball of gum at all. It's just disappearing. No, yeah, it just disappears. It disintegrates. <laughs> all right, number three. Oh, my God. If you get sick, uh, maybe we should put a puke bucket by you. <laughs> it's the new fad sweeping the nation. The <laughs> bubble gum challenge. The <laughs> year old gum challenge. <laughs> How many pieces can you eat before you can blow a bubble? <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, this is like eating a Carolina Reaper almost. Might be more than you want. Okay, I'm going to try to go for five. This oh. is number four. You get an even number of five. <laughs> I wonder, it's an odd number. I'm going to have to drink some vodka after this. Oh. Sterilize my stomach. <laughs> We well, can put some gum and vodka and make some bubblegum flavored vodka. This is not bubblegum flavored. It's very like old cardboard. I can't believe you ate four pieces. Where's your bubble at? I mean, where's where's the rest of it at? Are you just it, swallowing it as you go? The bubble's going to come out tomorrow. <laughs> oh my God, it's so awful. <laughs> this is what I do for you, the people. Well, maybe if we uh, like threw a couple strips in the microwave with a little bit of water, we can rehydrate it. No. Make it chewy again. I'm never going to do this again. <laughs> this is number five. Number five. This is technically a whole pack of double mint. Oh, my God. So <laughs> <laughs> a five pack of gum. 
Now, if you get the big pack of double mint, you'd have to eat 17 right. pieces. It's sharp, too, so I got like... <laughs> you cut in your mouth as you Bloody gums. <laughs> bloody gums from 32-year-old gum. <laughs> the botulism from the gum is going straight into my bloody gums. We do not recommend you do this at home. We don't know what might happen. If I get sick, I'll put it in the comments and let you know. Oh, we got 15 inches of snow outside. Uh, there's five pieces. There's five pieces of eight. I'm not going to throw up. I feel good. Now blow your bubble. Hurry up. <laughs> we'll get video of that tomorrow. I'll do right. a little X-rated action. Well, he chewed some 87, 1987 Tops baseball gum, which environment was stored in, we do not know. <laughs> he is alive at this point. Thanks for watching. See ya.